What's going on guys? It's your boy CMB, back in the building, back with another video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now guys, let's get into this one really quickly. Just wanted to get my reaction, post fight reaction to the Erickson Lubin, Sebastian Fondora fight. And I'm gonna tell you guys, this fight did not disappoint. This was a fight, I told some of you guys, I was looking forward to this fight. I really like both of these guys as fighters. It didn't disappoint. It was a barn burner and uh, very, very entertaining fight. Uh, first of all, I want to take my hat off to Erickson Lubin. Even though he lost the fight tonight, uh, he has nothing but heart, in my opinion. Uh, he put it all on the line, even though he was in trouble in this fight. And I just got to take my hat off to him. Uh, so proud of what he did tonight, even though he didn't get the win. Uh, I am happy for Sebastian Fondora. I uh, love this guy as well. Just, just a fun fighter to watch, guys. And uh, like I said, this fight was entertaining. <laughs> Absolute barn burner. Uh, Lubin dropped in the second round by uh, Fondora with a uppercut, guys. And I knew going into this fight, if Lubin, who I thought was the better to a boxer of the two he was the more technically sound in my opinion i knew if he went into this fight and he would fall into that trap of fighting sebastian fondora's fight you guys know sebastian fondora likes even though he's tall and he's rangy he likes to fight in the pocket he likes to fight on the inside you know he likes to make it a dog fight and that works really well in his favor and lubin fell right into that trap even though kevin cuttingham was trying to keep steer him away from that giving him great advice uh in the corner uh it just wasn't clicking with lubin you know he just kept falling into that trap and the, the story of the night was the uppercut coming from sebastian fondora uh you know towards the later rounds in the fight lubin's face was just a mess guys he had this huge hematoma in between his eyes almost unrecognizable uh he did uh drop Fondora in the seventh round guys and that was a round that he was really uh losing in and somehow he bit down and he dropped Fondora now Fondora did say uh at the end of the fight that you know he was in trouble but he took a knee he thought that was better for him to take a knee and regroup than to uh just get in trouble and and, and you know possibly get knocked out in the fight so if that's what he did uh, I think that was a brilliant thing that he did he took that knee but uh like I said the story of the night was the uppercut and uh he was just landing it all night long I I just couldn't believe how long Lubin actually lasted in the fight the fight was stopped after the ninth round uh his trainer Kevin Cunningham threw in the towel and you know, some people uh, think, I don't think they agree with that. I saw some people throwing ice at Kevin Cunningham. But, you know, he's the trainer. You have to do what's best for the fighter. Uh, if your fighter's in trouble, you know, you, you got to do what's best for them. You got to protect them from themselves. Uh, he just looked bad. And, you know, you want to see them live to fight another day. And I think he did the right thing. Uh, congratulations to Sebastian Fundora, guys. Uh, I told you guys Sebastian Fondor was going to be a problem at 154 pounds. Now he could possibly get a shot, you know, at whoever becomes undisputed between the fight between Brian Castano and uh, Jermel Charlo. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens with that, guys. But uh, great night of boxing. Uh, congratulations to Tony Harris as well. He put on a great performance tonight. Enjoyed that. But this Sebastian Fondora fight... Uh, Erickson Lubin, oh god, that was, it was so entertaining. Uh, I had a great time tonight watching this. Uh, but you guys, tell me what you think about the fight tonight. Uh, were you disappointed that Lubin didn't win? I I'll say this. I was really disappointed that Lubin didn't win because he's worked so hard to build himself back up to be uh, a champion again. You know, after the loss to uh, Jamel Charlo, and he's been on this winning streak after that and uh you know just watching him rise up back to the top that was it was great to watch and so it was kind of bittersweet to see him lose tonight uh even though i i, I really like sebastian fundor as well uh 
you know, I, I'm happy for him, but I am a little bit disappointed for Erickson Lubin. Like I said, I met him before. He's a great guy. Uh, hopefully this is not the end for him. Uh, hopefully it's not. Well, I hope to see him back in the ring. I, I think he's a hell of a fighter, guys. But uh, you guys tell me what you think about the fight tonight. Uh, were you impressed by Seb Sebastian Bandora? Were you disappointed about Lubin losing the fight? Uh, were you disappointed about the fight being stopped? Do you think the fight should have been uh, kept going on? You know, you think they should have not thrown the towel in? Let me know about it in the comment section, guys. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.